Hi everyone, I'm Natalie Wilson, one of the STEM for Success mentors. Today, I'm going to show you two simple experiments where you can learn the difference between chemical and physical changes. We're going to start off with just a normal bottle of water. As you can see, I open it up and pour it out. It's still liquid. You can take that bottle of water and place it in the freezer for now. We're going to come back to it later. We're going to now make some cake. As always, start off by washing your hands very well. Once you're all cleaned up and ready to go, you can prepare your cake mix as directed on the box. I made chocolate cake with chocolate chips inside. My recipe needed one third cup of oil, one cup of water, and three eggs. Make sure that you mix everything well together. You can make something different if you'd like, whether it be brownies, a different flavor of cake, or even just a completely different pastry. The important part here is that you're baking something. Always make sure to grease your pan before using it. As you pour the cake batter into the pan, you're going to notice that it's still very thick and liquid. Once it's all in, you can carefully place it inside the oven and cook as directed. Once your cake is all done, you can take it out and set it to cool. You should notice that the once liquid batter has completely transformed into a light fluffy cake. Now after a few hours, you can take your bottle of water out of the freezer. You should notice it is transformed from a liquid into a very firm solid. If you leave this bottle out for long enough, it should turn right back into your normal liquid water. Now that we made everything, let's talk about the differences between chemical and physical changes. First, we're going to start with chemical. Some signs of chemical changes are that there's a change in color, texture, or smell. The substance changes temperature, rather makes heat or requires heat or the new substance cannot go back to the original. Let's take the cake that we made for example. First, you'll notice that we can't go back to the batter that we started with. It also has a different color and texture from the original batter and it needed heat to make the change. Some more examples of chemical changes include frying an egg, burning wood, baking a pizza, digesting food, or a rotting banana. Now here are some signs of a physical change. If it changes to a liquid, solid, or gas, if the substance is the same substance it was originally, and if the final result is something that can go back to the original state. Let's take for example the freezing of water that we did. It changed from a liquid to a solid. When it was left outside of the freezer, it returned to a liquid. And it was always water throughout, it just turned into frozen water. Some more examples of physical change include breaking a twig, crumpling up a piece of paper, mixing assorted candy together, or bending a tube. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Make sure to visit us at www.stemforsuccess.org for more content. Just remember, STEM isn't everything that you do.